Coming up on Mountain News at 6, a tornado was confirmed in Corbin. We'll hear from folks in the community about how cleanup efforts are going. And one postal service says they are closing select customer centers, including one in one southern Kentucky city. Plus, we are tracking higher rain chances and warmer temperatures by this weekend. Your forecast on the way is Mountain News at 6 starts now. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 6. Officials with the National Weather Service in Jackson confirmed yesterday a tornado ripped through part of Knox County Sunday afternoon. WYMT's RJ Johnson shares how one business is working to bounce back. Days after a tornado ripped through the area, Folks in Knott County are continuing to pick up the pieces. It's been pretty busy. That's all we've done for the last three days is kind of clean up. We were very lucky to have a local um, local city give it, let us use their street sweeper so that we could actually use that and kind of clean the lot up some. But it was it was pretty bad. There's glass and wood everywhere. Legacy Chevrolet manager Bobby Kidd says the storm damaged several parts of their property, including cars, a light pole, and more. One weird thing was we had, I guess, about eight trucks, and it blew all of the um, gas lids off, and they ended up all the way down by Lynn Camp School, just the, just the edge of them, not the whole thing. Also near Lynn Camp High School is this. A tree hit part of one man's home with trees down in other parts of the community. Kid says it's hard to imagine and prepare for a situation like this. There's not a lot you can do about about the weather. I mean, it, you just hope that it doesn't doesn't hit, especially when it's business is open or there's a lot of people driving around or out. So it was a blessing that it was on on a Sunday early afternoon when there wasn't a whole lot of traffic or a whole lot of people there. He says while it could have been worse, he is glad to see folks in the community come together. That was the that was the biggest thing. The best thing that really came out of it was just seeing us all kind of get together and that's usually what happens in a storm or something like this. The, you figure out how good people really are. In Knox County, RJ Johnson, WYMT Mountain News. Kid says they were able to look through security camera footage to show officials with the National Weather Service how the storm moved through that area. The man accused of the 2021 murder of a Big Stone Gap, Virginia police officer has pleaded guilty. Michael Donovan White pleaded guilty to murdering Officer Michael Chandler in Wise County Circuit Court. The incident happened when Chandler was doing a welfare check at a home in Big Stone Gap. White faces a sentence of 40 to 100 years in prison, according to the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office. A Tennessee man and former Middlesboro High School teacher is facing charges after Kentucky State Police began an investigation regarding a sexual complaint. 50-year-old Craig Callan of Cumberland Gap was arrested after a warrant was issued. He was taken to the Claiborne County Detention Center while he awaits extradition to Bell County. Callum was charged with rape, sodomy, sexual abuse, and pr procuring use of a minor by electronic means. Officials with the Middlesboro School District confirmed that Callum's employment was terminated. We are told he was a social studies teacher at the high school. Police in Clay County are looking for an inmate who escaped from the detention center. Take a look at your screen. Skylar Hubbard escaped from around the Beach Creek Apartments area. He, officials say he was wearing orange work release clothes at the time. He was last seen on Cole Hollow. Anyone with information regarding Hubbard's whereabouts are asked to contact the Sheriff's Office at 606-598-3471. We are tracking some dry weather and plenty of sun on this Thursday evening across the region. A live look from Moorhead at I-64, also from Buffalo Mountain, from Perry County, and from downtown Pikeville, and from the London Corbin Airport. Not much happening as we go into this Thursday evening and one more dry day on the way tomorrow before changes begin to return by this weekend. Up on those temperatures, though, we are tracking some below average weather. We should be in the upper 70s. Most of us right now in the middle to lower 70s and a few upper 60s over in southwest 
West Virginia up to 74 Pikeville, 74 over in Irvine, 76 in London, also in Bell County for Middlesbrough at this hour. Up on first alert pinpoint Doppler tracking some dry weather, all thanks to high pressure. And this weather system will bring some more dry conditions to go into this evening and tonight. Because of the clear sky, those lows are chilly to wake up on your Friday. A first alert, you may need that light jacket to wake up and walk out the door. As most of us see upper 40s to lower 50s to kick off the last day of May. And be sure to soak up that below average weather because we are warm by this weekend and pushing into parts of next week. Your full forecast on the way in just a little bit. Steve. All right, Cameron, thank you. UPS says they are closing select customer centers, including one in London. The London UPS Customer Service Center is located off Highway 25. Officials say they'll be closing as of June 24th. UPS released a statement to WYMT about this. They said, quote, we are closing select UPS customer centers to better align with our customers' preferences. We will continue our high standard of customer service through a wide range of resources that are available to our customers, including UPS drop boxes, 10,000 full service retail shipping locations, such as the UPS store and staples, as well as UPS authorized shipping outlets and providers to ship packages, end quote. We have an update about a Southern Kentucky firefighter. It's a good update. In a post on social media, London Mayor Randall Weddle said Brandon Buckner is heading home. Buckner had been readmitted to the hospital after he began experiencing severe pain again. This after he had been sent home once before earlier in the week after he fell trying to put a fire out at a business in London on Sunday that was hit by lightning following those severe storms. Buckner's family says he suffered several broken ribs and a lacerated liver from the fall. And again, he's coming home, actually probably already home. I saw some pictures late today on Facebook of an escort he had on the way home, so some great news there. The Laurel County Sheriff's Office is offering extra patrols for community members going on vacation. Police say there are some steps to take before leaving vacation, including making it seem like you are still at home. Public Affairs Deputy Gilbert Chardo also says to alert trusted neighbors that can call police if something goes wrong. If you want to take advantage of increased patrols, Chardo says there are a few things that can help them keep the home safe. We want to know an address, of course. We want to know the time frame that they're going to be gone. And if there's going to be somebody coming by feeding the cats or, or something like that, we want to know that. But, but beyond that, uh, that's all they got to tell us. The charter says it does not have to be a week-long vacation. They can also do increased patrols for just a weekend. You can contact the Laurel County Sheriff's Office at 606-864-6600. Governor Andy Bashir announced more than $5 million for five counties, which will go towards supporting site and development projects. One of those counties receiving funding is in our area. The Clay County Physical Court, on behalf of the Elk Hill Regional Industrial Authority, will upgrade water infrastructure to the Elk Hill Regional Industrial Park. The regional project is supported by Clay, Knox, and Leslie counties. The Breathitt County Physical Court is receiving $20,000 in emergency road aid funds. That money will be used to repair a slide on Hardshell Caney Road. Officials say the slide is near Zach Lane in Breathitt County. As thousands of students here in the region take their final steps across their high school stages, the next chapters of their lives are already seeing some support. WYMT's Buddy Forbes explains. With tassels turning, so is the way students view their next steps after graduation. What I see the most is opportunities for students. In recent years, educators have noted an expansion in the educational and experiential opportunities for their graduates. Being able to provide an opportunity for students to work with their hands and become blue collar workers, build careers and lives here in Eastern Kentucky is uh, something that means a lot to me. For many districts throughout the region, that focus on future kicks off with the curriculum, helping students seek more of what best serves them. Uh, to let them experience different career paths, that way they determine whether they like that in high school or not, instead of getting out into the real world and ending up having to backtrack and spend a couple years trying to find their identity in the workforce. 
Support from scholarships has continued to fuel those future plans with colleges, universities, technical programs, and more, investing in graduates throughout the region. Like eight Prestonsburg graduates who just received full rides worth $10,000 each to the Tech Center in Martin County. So these kids are going to be able to leave high school and jump straight into a career with no debt once they graduate and just one year investment in themselves. A trend that educators say is only growing as more institutions see the innovation and industry opportunities that start in the classroom. Hits why we do what we do as educators, to provide them those opportunities. Setting the stage for success in Floyd County, Buddy Forbes, WYMT Mountain News. Seniors all throughout the region have been receiving scholarships and awards this month, which educators like Thacker say is a sign that there is support out there, fueling not just the future workforce, but the future of the region. Well, a first alert for some chilly weather to wake up on your Friday, but a warm up is also on the way by this weekend. All those details coming up. Plus, students at one local school and college discuss their experience during a mission trip to one country in Central America.